All right, everybody, what is the wavelength in nanometers of light having a frequency of 8.6 times 10 to the 13th hertz? So the problem is giving us frequency, and it is 8.6 times 10 to the 13th, and the units are hertz. Another way to represent hertz would be 1 over seconds, or you can say seconds to the negative one power. So that is our frequency. The problem is asking for wavelength. So that is what we will be solving for. And they want it specifically in nanometers. So we need to remember they want wavelength in nanometers. Okay, so given frequency and looking for wavelength, we are going to use this equation over here where C, which is the speed of light, is equal to wavelength times frequency. So we need C, the speed of light, and that is a constant, which is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Okay, now in our equation, we are solving for wavelength, which is over on the right side being multiplied by frequency. We wanna get wavelength by itself. So to do that, we're gonna divide both sides of our equation by frequency. And we're doing that because then on the right side, frequency will cancel out and we will have wavelength by itself. So we can now rewrite as wavelength is equal to the speed of light over frequency. So now we can fill in our values. So again, wavelength equals C, the speed of light is on top, and that is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And we're dividing by frequency, and that is 8.6 times 10 to the 13th. And we're gonna use the units of seconds to the negative one power, which is the same as Hertz. Okay, so before we do the math in our calculator, let's look at our units. On top we have meters per second, or essentially one over seconds, or another way to say that is seconds to the negative one. And on the bottom we have seconds to the negative one. So they will cancel out, same thing on top and on bottom, so it will cancel out, and we will be left with the unit of meters, which is where we can go to then get nanometers. So now we can plug this in our calculator. You're going to do 3.00 times 10 to the eighth, divide by everything on bottom in the denominator. And we need to make sure that this stays together because it's in scientific notation. So one way to do that is open parentheses and then put 8.6 times 10 to the 13th, close parentheses, hit equals, and we get 3.48837 times 10 to the negative six. Let's round that to two significant figures, and we get the wavelength is equal to 3.5, and then don't forget times 10 to the negative six, and we have meters at this point. So we have the wavelength, but it's in meters, and we want nanometers. That's what the problem is asking for. So we need to do one last step, which would be a unit conversion. So we're gonna start with 3.5 times 10 to the negative six meters, and we are going to multiply by a conversion factor to turn this into so many nanometers. Okay, so we're multiplying by our fraction, by our conversion factor, where since we're starting with meters, we're gonna have meters on the bottom, and since we want nanometers in the end, nanometers will go on top. So now I need to know the relationship between meters and nanometers. Well, one meter is 10 to the ninth, or also one billion nanometers. So now looking at my units, meters will cancel out, and I will be left with nanometers, which is what we want. Plug this in your calculator, and you would do 3.5 times 10 to the negative sixth times 10 to the ninth, and you should get 
3.5 times 10 to the third. Okay, make sure you have times 10 to the third. If not, check the order of operations in your calculator. Okay, so final answer. What is the wavelength in nanometers of light having a frequency of 8.6 times 10 to the 13th hertz? That would be 3.5 times 10 to the third nanometers. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.